Hey y'all, um, I'm going to show you how I personally get into my car and out of my car with my wheelchair. I mean, it's different for everyone who does it based on their injury level and their capabilities, their strength, um, and how their body works for them. Not everyone who has the same injury has the same capabilities, so please keep that in mind. This didn't happen for me overnight. So if I'm doing this and I make it look easy and you get frustrated, it took me a long time to master this and make it look easy, if you will. Some days are harder for me than others based on my pain and everything um, because of my neuropathy I have as a result of my injury. Um, but again, please don't get frustrated if you can't do this quickly and overnight. Like. It took me seriously probably years to be able to do this as efficiently as I can. I currently drive a four-door Pontiac G6 GXP Edition. Um, the GXP Edition is one of the only cars I found back when I got it, which was 2009. That was a four-door car with um, doors that open up to close to 90 degrees so I have room to get in and out of my car with the chair and I have room to work um, back then I needed more room I felt when I was just beginning all this um, so I definitely hope that I can help someone um, along the way and maybe my technique will work for them rather than other people's they see um, everyone's chair is shaped different everyone's you know, chair weighs a different weight based on them. You know, there's just so many variables to going in and out of your car. Um, so, you know, don't give up and just keep working at it. You'll get it. Um, so, I will show you how I do this. So, I use a transfer board still. Um, for several reasons because um, I mean some like I said some days my pain is different than others I can get in and out of my car without it but on those bad days I don't want to chance it and fall in public and have issues um, having other strangers help me and you know have issues of possible wounds on my bottom and stuff so it's just easier and safer for me to use my board in and out of the car um, so I just keep it there to use it. Um, again, if you feel more comfortable not using it, that's one thing. Um, if maybe you've been struggling because you don't have this board to try, you know, look into it. They're called transfer boards, and I definitely feel a lot more safe and secure when I'm using it, so I don't have to worry about, oh, what if I fall, you know? So. So I just take this board and I put it under this leg here and um, I go just like this. Take it out, throw it back there undo the brakes of my chair and just pull it off and I throw it behind me turn the chair in and then fold this up and now this is the tricky part because my chair is pretty heavy
this part took me a long time to do and figure out um, to keep my balance because I have bad balance as a result of my injury. So every time I try to do this, I would have issues with my balance. Um, I now figured out how to kind of keep it. I rest up against here and rest my arm on my leg. And that seems to help me personally. Again, everyone's injury and capabilities are different. And then I take the board again, go like this, check the pants so they don't fall, because that's always fun too. Alright, and that's how I personally get in and out of my car. 